Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on multiplying and dividing fractions. These examples also have variables involved, which is not really going to change very much. The steps are the same. When you're multiplying fractions, you're multiplying anything in the numerator and multiplying anything in the denominator. You do those multiplications separately. I also like to reduce my fractions before I multiply. So 3 over 9 can be reduced. 3 goes into 3 once, Nine goes in, 3 goes into 9 3 times. So I'm left with 1a over 3, and you have the option of writing the 1 or not, times b over 4. a times b is ab. 3 times 4 is 12. And we have our final answer. Sometimes I think the variables make it easier because you don't have to think about as hard about how to reduce them because the only thing that can reduce a variable is that exact same variable. Okay, in my next example, it's division. With my division problems, I very often put a square around the division sign in whatever fraction comes after it to remind myself that that fraction needs to be flipped. I need to find the reciprocal and then I can multiply. For my 7h and 30, 7 doesn't go into 30, so I'm just going to write this as 7h divided by 30 times. The reciprocal of this is putting the 18 in the numerator and the 2h in the denominator. But before I do that, I'm going to realize that the 2 divides evenly into the 18. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So when I find the reciprocal, I'm going to write this as 9 over 1h. And again, you could not write the 1 or write the 1. It doesn't really matter. It's like saying, hey, I have a pen or I have one pen. It is exactly the same in English. It is exactly the same in math. Okay. Now, the thing about variables, just like numbers, if the same thing appears in the numerator and denominator, they cancel by div dividing. Remember, a variable is just a placeholder for a number, like 6, 7 times 6, 1 times 6. It's not anything complicated, it's just an unknown number. It's kind of like when you order a bunch of stuff at a restaurant and you're not sure what the bill is going to be. The bill is your variable and until you see what it is, you don't know what it is. But if there's an h in the numerator and denominator, they both divide. h divided by h is 1, h divided by h is 1. And now we have in the numerator 7 times 1 times 9, that's 63. 30 times 1, which is 30 but it's not reduced. And some of you may have noted that the nine and 30 could be reduced before. It's always good to double check at the end. So when we do a lot of stuff with variables, sometimes we get all of the clutter out of the way by just doing the multiplication and then reducing. If I divide a 30 out of numerator and denominator, I'm gonna end up with 21 over 10. Now to me, 21 over 10 is a great answer. I like my fractions reduced and improper. There are a lot of math teachers out there who would write, like you to write as a mixed number. If that's the case, you need to take 10 and divide it into 21. 10 goes into 20 twice. 2 times 10 is 20. Subtract, remainder of 1. So you would write 2 and 1 tenth. Make sure you know, know which form you're expected to leave your answer in. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.